What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Triple B's Barbecue, where well, we not only cook outside, but we come inside and we whip that thing up. You already know what it is. Today, we're gonna do a meatloaf, but this ain't your grandma's meatloaf. I guarantee you that. We're gonna put together these special ingredients. We're gonna freeze this meatloaf, and then we're gonna put it outside on the smoker. Have a smoke bath for a little while, and it's gonna come back. We're gonna throw some barbecue sauce on there, man. It's gonna be the best meatloaf you have ever had, I promise you that. Key to putting a meatloaf on the smoker is to freeze it. So you have to make this in advance, make it early in the morning, throw it in the freezer, make it the day before, throw it in the freezer, pull it out the next day, whatever. All right, so we're gonna take this whole pack of bacon, take you a sharp knife, we're gonna do about half inch pieces or smaller, it's totally up to you, but get it cut up so we can throw it in the skillet, render all that fat, crisp up that bacon. Once that's done, go ahead and pull it out while leaving all that fatty goodness behind in that skillet. We'll use that to cook our onions in. Next, let's throw one medium rough chopped white onion in the bacon fat so we can cook it down until it starts to release all that water and the natural sugar. Once caramelized, remove from the heat and add to the bacon in a big bowl. From there, we can get ready for the rest of the ingredients. Half cup brown sugar, half cup of your favorite barbecue sauce, quarter cup of ketchup, about three tablespoons of yellow mustard, two tablespoons of Worcestershire, and about three tablespoons of your favorite beef rub. I'm going in with some Suckle Busters 1836 beef rub. One, two, three. One pound, 80, 20. And one pound of Jim and Dean's breakfast sausage. Now, if you wanted to make a bigger meatloaf, I would use two pounds of 80, 20 and still just one pound of breakfast sausage. Also going in with one cup of breadcrumbs we're also going in with two to three eggs, whatever you prefer. Now it's time to get in there. And get your hands dirty. Mix it good, make sure everything's incorporated. Man, it smells good, just raw. Just continue to mix and incorporate all the ingredients by folding and squeezing the meat. I think I am gonna add about half a cup more breadcrumbs. Now line you a baking dish with plastic wrap. Put your meatloaf in there. You really want to make sure to press that meat in firmly, especially in the corners. Don't leave any gaps. The better you do this now, the better shape it'll retain when you bring it out the freezer. So if you try to put something like this on a smoker, on your grill, on your pellet grill, whatever it may be, it's just gonna fall through the grates. The secret is to freeze it. I'm gonna pull it out the freezer. I'm gonna let it defrost just enough to where there's about, I don't know, a quarter of an inch, an eighth of an inch on the outside that feels soft. Yeah, we're gonna put some seasoning on here. Let's sit for the rest of the way while we get the grill fired up. So four hours later, it's completely frozen. I started this extremely early in the morning and was able to freeze and still have time to cook in the same day. I'm gonna use a little mustard as a binder. Start with the bottom first. Just a little bit, just something for it to stick on to. Remember, this is frozen, so. It's not gonna take much. Just like that. I'm gonna take 
some bovine bold by Plowboys. And I'm also going to use some 1836 by Sulker Busters, which if you remember, we used both of these in the mixture originally. So this is a little bit more grainy, a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna put a little bit of that on there first. Just like that. I always wanna use your more grainy rub rubs first. If you use the more powdery first, then it's gonna basically cover the whole surface area to where the grainier stuff will not adhere. <laughs> We're gonna give this a good cover. Just like that. Don't rub, just mash a little bit. Make sure everything's kind of sticking. Some of this 1836. Bovine bowl. Start with the edge. Let's go fire up the pit. to do this cook at about, it's probably fluctuate between 220 and 250, but I did decide to throw this meatloaf on this rack here, because it'll be easier for me to pick up and spin. So we'll get this temperature regulated down to about 220. We're probably gonna pull it at about 155, just to be safe. It will carry over to about 165. That way it'll still be juicy on the inside. Last thing you want is a dry meatloaf. So, Nat, she's in there for a smoke bath. She'll be sitting in there for a little while. I'm gonna have to regulate it with this wood. I did find a little bit of cherry. We are running on post oak at the moment. Hey, look, if my, if my videos give you any kind of inspiration to actually get out there and cook something or, or to get in the kitchen and whip something up for the lady or for your husband or whatever, then man, get, get this video a like, man. If you haven't thought about it, hit that subscribe button too. All right, so we've been running for about two hours now. Ran for an hour just throwing smoke at this meatloaf at about 220 degrees. After about an hour, I ramped it up 275 really uh, for the last hour. So now I haven't opened it yet, so I don't know what it looks like. I'm gonna open it up. We're gonna probe it, see uh, what kind of temperature we got on the inside, and then we'll probably turn it as well. About 100, almost 101 degrees. For 126 on that side. So that tells me that we need to flip this around. Let the other side, it's got a beautiful color on it. Flip it around like this. But I got a feeling it's probably gonna be about another hour. So I'll bring y'all back whenever I go to pull it off. All right, so we've pulled it off. It reached a temp of 160 degrees. About to carve into this thing. We're gonna see what we got. Oh yeah. Look. We're gonna try this out. Words have no meaning when it comes to what this tastes like. This is ridiculous. Come on folks, like, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. I don't know what else to tell you. Just get out there and cook something, man. Burn rubber, not your meat.